Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinyl TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. We got this printer. This is Epson Workforce 7840. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multi-tax. 4 in 1 if you like in the sense you can copy, scan, print and fast from this printer. This printer is for businesses, for university, for office work. This is printer you can rely on. You can copy two-sided with this gear and also scan two-sided. This printer is with ADF, automatic document feeder and multiple paper trays. You got your paper tray and also paper tray number one and paper tray number two. Okay, check my video. This printer is using ink cartridges 405 and 405 extra. I ordered this printer, fairly used one, okay, and it is working. So, but the only thing is, when I got it online, there was no ink inside so i had to order the ink from amazon.co.uk here so the ink is 405 i will put up a link how you can get the ink what i want to show you right now is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network this printer is dual band you can connect it via wi-fi network and usb cable connection this is the usb cable okay now what i want us to do is to connect this so with this printer we need to first of all look epson okay epson's smart panel is what we're going to do you can connect this printer for fact let's we need to connect it okay there's two options two ways to do this either you try to look for this printer using epson smart panel first or you connect the printer from connect the printer then add add it to epson smart panel so what i want us to do is first of all let's see if we can find the big printer from epson smart panel so what you need to do is go to your play store on your mobile device download epson smart panel is already downloaded on my mobile phone so here it is epson smart panel okay and right now once you open it up it will start to search for product so what is doing right now is searching for this product okay we just need to give it time and before you do this you need to make sure your printer is switched on okay so right now it's searching for the product okay so what is the it done right now it pick up the network okay so i'm going to go back okay so this is epson smart panel so if you want to join ready print and then you select ready print okay so what we need to do is click plus you can see the plus by the side okay click on it and once you click on the plus would you like to check if your product is supported no because i know this product is supported okay so it's wi-fi printer now what we need to do is either you set up a new printer or connect a product already on the wi-fi okay so right now what we need to do is select set up a new printer if we can't find this printer using the mobile device then we need to do the connection using the printer okay so select select set up a new printer nice ask, thank you for choosing epson products let's continue click continue So what I'm going to do right now, okay, so when you click continue, you turn the Bluetooth on. Okay, make sure the product is turned on. If USB cable is connected to the product, disconnect it and turn the product off and on again. Click next. So right now it's searching for the product. Okay, you can see could not find the product. If the product is turned on, is the product turned on? Yes. Okay. Move the smartphone close to the product and click continue. So, okay. So right now, it's searching for this product. 
okay can't find the product now go to the website and enter the product name flow the instruction okay so what we if you can't find it then the next thing you need to do click next it will take you to a epson website okay so right now you can see so what you need to do is then type the product name is workforce 7840 okay you can see seven work for 7840 click search and right now it's bringing out information you can see it's telling us follow the step below okay so you follow the step go to the printer and type the wi-fi okay so what we need to do right now is do the next thing we need to do from the printer okay so it's what we're going to do so we'll go to the printer okay now what we need to do is we need to go to the settings I'm going to bring the camera so you can see okay go to the settings you can see network connection settings okay you can see you see router and wi-fi direct okay so select router okay connect via router click start setup okay so you have wi-fi setup push button setup and other select wi-fi setup wizard so right now is searching for wireless router okay and it found the router okay so i'm going to here we go so it pick up the network so right now i'm going to put the password okay so what i'm going to do now is put the password i have the information for the password right here okay sometimes people ask me where do you get this information i got this information from the back of my router okay so i'm going to put the information right now and this is what we're going to do and when you are putting the information you need to make sure if it asks for capital letter put capital letter if it's asked for small letter make sure you put small letter okay so this is what i'm doing right now is putting the password Then if you want to pull one two three, uh, then you also need to select on it. Select one two three. Then you put the details. Okay. If you're happy with everything, select OK. Okay. Now the next you need to do once you put everything, select Start Setup. Okay. So right now it's communicating to wireless router. Okay. It's communicating. It's connecting to the wireless router. Is what it's doing right now. Here we go. You can see setup complete. Okay. So right now you can see it's connected. Participate in the future design of Epson product. Okay. Uh, firewall update. Click OK. Okay. We, you can register Epson Connect to Epson Connect service. And you can register to Epson Connect from Epson Connect service menu. Remind me later yes okay participate in future epson products by approving you agree to select approve okay select the country where you products okay select okay okay do scroll up select united kingdom you can also reject this if you like okay uk okay close right now this printer is connected to wi-fi network now what we need to do is we need to use our mobile device okay so go back to our mobile device right now so okay so we'll go back to home page go back to the home page display home page yes so right now okay this is the home page so what we need to do right now now next is okay is go back click add a printer and you wait no okay so what we need to do right now is then connect a product already on the wi-fi select connect a product already on the wi-fi and it will start to search for this printer so right now it's going to it's looking for this printer 
So what it's doing right now is select the product to connect. So it's searching for the product. So what it's doing right now is searching for this product. Here we go, you can see, you found the product, WF7840, you found it, okay, so what you need to do is select on it, here we go, connection is complete, WF7840, click OK, and right now I can see this printer is here, okay, you can see this, select on the, you can see WF7840, and you can see the ink cartridges okay you can see the bk is full up c m and yellow this is to show you that the ink is full up okay so this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network okay if you're happy with this please do consider to subscribe it help the channel i hope you can see sometimes when you bring this gadget close to the uh, camera it made it, it will make the camera it made the camera like to go a bit dark okay so you can't see properly but i hope you see it and follow the instruction to be able to connect your printer so just to recap what we have done is we first of all we search for the printer using the mobile device we couldn't find it then we need to follow the instruction type your printer name okay then you follow to the instruction go to the wi-fi select on it select to add via router then it will find your network you put your password okay select your network and put your password once you've done that it will connect it will tell you that the web printer is connected to wi-fi then you use your mobile device and add product already on the wi-fi instead of a new product because you connected it already on, the, on your wi-fi okay so add a new product and it will find it once you find it select on it and it will tell you that the product is completed and you can see this is how to do this if you're happy with this tutorial Please do consider to subscribe. It helps the channel and also it helps others. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate you. Thank you.